it came to pass at that war, as I believe many of you know from legends, that really everybody in the world wanted to fight beside the Midrash, <clears throat> except the East, which really couldn't figure out how that would work, and then there would be a war. <laughs> and Trimeris, who figured that somebody ought to side with the East, because otherwise it was just sort of skunky soup and not a good thing. So they said, well, we, yeah, so some boom will do it. And so it was the East and the two Chucks and Trimeris versus, well, a lot of people. And I was coming back from watching my first field battle, that one, the one where the squires, that, 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 but that's another story. And Trump came back, and I was standing guard at my camp when up the street walking beside our camp come the two trucks. And I hear the following. No shit, man. There he was. One against 15. Damn, he was tough. <laughs> and they were referring to Thorbjörn, who, um, he was older then, and he would get somewhat short of breath, but in that particular battle, he was told to go out in front of the horde and stop the chucks for long enough for the great windshield wiper of everybody to sort of clear the field. And so, okay, that's about 45 or 60 seconds. Six foot four, mace, shield, smile. Tent pig. The last guy got it. One against 15, damn he was tough. He was. But the odds were one to one when he finally went down, and the other guy got clotheslined by um, the Calentier left cross. <laughs> so that's my, for the first time I heard a no shit there he was story. I believe he fits the floor. No shit.